Tina Turner, the legendary soul and rock vocalist known for her incredible voice and captivating stage presence, passed away at the age of 83. Her publicist confirmed that she died on Wednesday at her home in Switzerland after battling a long illness. In her memoir titled Tina Turner, My Love Story, which was published in 2018, Turner courageously shared her struggles with various health issues since 2013, including a stroke, intestinal cancer, and kidney failure. She credited her second husband, Erwin Bach, for saving her life by donating a kidney in 2017. Turner's music career spanned an impressive six decades, during which she achieved fame both as a solo artist and as part of a duo with her first husband. Together, they were inducted into the Rock Roll Hall of Fame and became a staple on the U.S. Ike Turner, Pop and Air Bay charts during the 1960s and 70s. Tina Turner's unique vocal style was shaped by a diverse range of influences, from country music to air bay, gospel, blues, and rock. Her versatile voice allowed her to deliver powerful rock growls, soulful blues, and smooth air bay melodies. She had a remarkable ability to make iconic songs her own, infusing them with her own emotional depth and distinctive style. Some of her notable renditions include the Beatles' Come Together and the Rolling Stones' Honky Tonk Women. However, it was her fiery rendition of Creedence Clearwater Revival's Proud Mary that became her signature tune and earned her the first Grammy Award of her career. Beyond her vocal talent, Tina Turner was renowned for her electrifying stage presence. She exuded energy and athleticism, captivating audiences with her dynamic performances. Her stage persona was often compared to that of Mick Jagger, and she was admired for her natural ability to command the stage. In fact, Turner once hinted that Jagger closely observed her moves when she and Ike toured with the Rolling Stones in 1969. Their electrifying duet on the Jackson State of Shock at Live Aid in 1985 showcased the explosive combination of their talents. Mick Jagger expressed his sadness over Turner's passing, remembering her as an enormously talented performer and singer who had a profound impact on his own career. He acknowledged her influence and the support she provided him during his early years in the industry. Born as Anna Mae Bullock on November 26, 1939, in Nutbush, Tennessee, Tina Turner had a challenging upbringing. Her father left the family when she was just 13 years old, and she had a distant relationship with both her parents. However, she found solace in performing and developed a natural affinity for music. In her memoir, she recounted her early experiences singing radio hits during shopping trips at the age of four or five and organizing pretend stage shows with her cousins and sisters. She further honed her performing skills by singing at picnics alongside a well-known local trombonist named Mr. At the age of 16, Turner moved to St. Bootsy Whitelaw, Louis to live with her mother and sister Aline. It was there that she first encountered Ike Turner the Kings of Rhythm at the renowned East Street. Impressed by her impromptu performance of B.B. Louis Venue Club Manhattan. Kings You Know I Love You, Ike invited her to join the group. The ensemble was later renamed the Ike and Tina Turner Review with Tina assuming a central role. Unfortunately, Tina's relationship with Ike was marked by cruelty and abuse, both on a personal and professional level. She described Ike's realization that she would be his ticket to success and the subsequent troubles that arose. <laughs>